All right, it's time for the February 2024 Garden Side Chat. No hat boy today because we only had one question in commentary. Uh, it's from Mal's G4, M A L S G4. Uh, asked a question I'm in South Louisiana. I want to try my hand at growing peppers for a few reasons. One, I want to ferment pepper sauce, both hot and mild. Two, I like the Trappist Tabasco peppers in vinegar. Do you have any suggestions for peppers that grow in Louisiana? Any pepper suggestions for making a fermented sauce or for those that can sit in vinegar? Or do you have any pepper suggestions in general for any other use? I'm looking for flavor and not an extreme amount of heat that can ruin a dish. So first question is, are you interested in the peppers in clear vinegar? Uh, or do you want to make the traditional red colored hot sauce? Or do you want to make both of those? Are you looking to grow your own peppers or are you looking to buy peppers um, to make this hot sauce? Uh, so the peppers in the clear vinegar, um, I've used those in like soups. I didn't really, I don't use that on food. I put that really in, in, in soup. Uh, you, you would make it according to your own taste. Uh, the type of pepper, the color, red or green, how spicy, how mild, uh, those are adjustable. Uh, some folks, they would add seasonings to their pepper sauce uh, for additional flavoring. You could just keep it where it's basically vinegar and pepper, or you can add uh, different seasonings to it. Uh, peppers that you can use, you can use Tabasco, cayenne pepper, little small bird's eye peppers, bell peppers, etc. And of course, you could use a mixture of those. You could use some of the uh, the sweet bell peppers and maybe some bird's eye or, or Tabasco or cayenne. You can, you can do a mixture, play around with it according to your own taste. I grew a Cuban pepper that wasn't high on heat but it had a lot of flavor, uh, almost like a cherry uh, taste or like a similar fruit. Um, it had some heat but it wasn't a lot. That would be good to test out, to try. Uh, my advice to making your own spiced vinegar uh, is to keep good notes uh, when you come up with your creations and only change one thing at a time. So I would just start with what you want uh, and see if that works out. And if it doesn't work out, adjust one step at a time. Don't make two different changes because you don't know what it is that might have uh, caused it to either be too spicy or have a bad flavor or whatever the issue may or may not be. If you're looking to make the traditional style hot sauce, most companies use the Tabasco or cayenne peppers. Um, you can modify any recipe that you see uh, online according to the amount of heat that you like. Uh, if you add bell pepper, it'll add some bulk to it uh, and it'll add flavor without adding uh, extra heat to it. Um, so if you want a milder version, think about using bell pepper to help fill in the gap uh, instead of just using nothing but uh, hot peppers. Uh, also, you could just use milder peppers uh, with the bell pepper and with something that's very hot uh, but you'd have to play with that with your own creation. Uh, the same peppers that I mentioned with the clear vinegar, you could do the same thing with the uh, red hot sauce. I've seen some hot sauces that use uh, mashed up carrot. Uh, that adds a, a sweetness to it. Um, and there's also texture. Instead of it just being a, a smooth liquid, you have a little texture to it if you're putting it on top of uh, whatever food products that you're eating. Color and maturity of the peppers uh, can dictate how much uh, heat that you have perceived on your tongue. If you're growing the peppers yourself, just keep in mind that uh, certain pepper harvests uh, can be mild, some can be uh, very spicy. Uh, it depends on the time of year that you're growing and the actual plant, the conditions. Uh, you may get spicy peppers, you may get milder peppers from the exact same plant. Uh, so just keep that in mind. And the absolute final thing, the best advice I can give you with this, is if you're messing with these peppers from your garden or from the store, do not touch your eyes. Do not. you remember for a long time. Mouse 4 g thank you very much for that question. If you want to see something from March, put it in commentary down below. You can also email me, send a fax, whichever. It all works fine. I thank you very much for watching. This is Grow Me Something, Mr. And remember to... I don't have an exit line yet, so see you later, everybody.